Hello and a very happy Friday to all of you at home. I hope you keep them well. We have a truly exciting creation station live here today. Just before we get stuck in, I'd like to welcome my main helpers in the house. We have, come on down, Josh Cressel. Hi, I'll be keeping it interactive again as usual, keeping your comments flowing and keeping letting us know what fun you're having at home. It's really important. It is about interactive. I know you're sat at home and we're here, but we want to reduce that gap and really get interactive. So uh, moving on quickly, we've got Sam, the main man in the house. Hello everyone, hope we're all doing all right today. We're going to have some good fun today. Okay. So it is one of our official Guinness World Record attempts and we're thrilled. We have Netmom streaming us and Guinness World Record streaming live for this attempt. We will explain what's going on, but we know you like to get stuck in to the Magic Ideas box first. Yeah. So join in. So we need your power and your imagination. So we're going to count to three with us. Are you ready? One, One two, two, three. three. The, the Creation Station, Station. Exploration develops my imagination. imagination. Oh, I felt your energy. <laughs> Shall we see if it's worked? What have we got in our magic ideas box today? So, ah, a nice little magazine. Well, I'm all right for the next few minutes. Well, actually, it's not just about that. You probably have lots of things to recycle in your house, just as we do. So we've just started collecting a few bits of recycling and some fancy paper that we liked. And we've also got in here, oh, some more newspapers. Would you mind popping that to one side for me? Lovely helper. We also have something on here called a Guinness World Record official attempt. Ooh, wow. A bit more. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. And you'll see here, it's quite small. It's called Our Creative Face. It's our Creation Station logo, which is me and Sam's hand when we were little. Well, when, when, you, were, I was when you were little and I was taller. But hey, <laughs> now you're um, little. I'm little. So what are we going to do with this? Well, we've teamed up with the amazing Guinness World Records because we know that you're amazing. And this opportunity gives you the chance to be officially amazing. So how it works at home, what we'd love you to do to get involved is you're going to create your own collaged portrait. So, what is a portrait? It's a good question. Mm. So please, we do, would love to hear what you think what a portrait is. And while we're th getting your answers, we're just going to get started and stuck in. So, one... So, what really is the record that we're going for, Mum? That's a really good question. So, the... The official record attempt is 50,000 online images of collaged portraits. So if you want to bring over our little um, artisty board while we get stuck in. So one way of you getting involved is just to get some glue. We like gluing and sticking around here. Get some glue. We've created this template for a frame. You can create your collage within this frame. Or you can just do it on a piece of paper. The important thing is that you collage the background, all of the paper, yeah, or, or within the frame. So if you, maybe because you're reading out the comments, if Sam would just like to start yeah. your first attempt, just sticking stuff down. Not a lot of thought into it. Just grab some collage materials. We've got some shredded paper here. We've got a few buttons and tissues. We've got a magazine and Sam is just going to get stuck in, sticking stuff down. Yeah. Not thinking too much about it, just getting some shapes, getting some papers, cutting up bits and pieces. We have some tissue papers and we have some buttons and string and whatever you've got in your Magic Ideas box or you can find around the house, do get involved as well. So whilst we're doing that, while Sam is busy making something really lovely, I'm going to show you some examples of amazing art that people have already started doing. So Ed, hello Ed Jones, who is 38, year old, 38 years old, has created a lovely collage of just sticking stuff down. So he's gone for multicolours, 
gone a bit 3D with his glasses, which is nice. The important thing with your collage is it's got to be stuck down. It can't be painting and it's got to cover either all of the paper or all within our frame. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what the collage competition, what the collage is all about. And then you upload it to the website, Our Creative Face, and we'll give you information on that. Keep the comments coming as well. Hi to the Little, little Explorers in Watford. Yay. Hi Kirsty. hi Sarah, and hi Judith. Lovely having you with us. Keep, keep telling us what you're up to at home. That sounds good. So we know what, did we find out what a portrait is? What people think a portrait is? No one's responded with it yet. Okay, so we'll wait to see, but there are different um, ways of creating a collage. And so we've got an attempt just to stick anything down. Another way is to look at things that you find in magazines. So I can see here that there are some eyes. I could cut the eyes out and just do that, some nice fancy eyes. I'm sure she won't mind, sorry if you do. Um, cut some eyes out, they're quite small for my collage, but my collage doesn't have to be one face or even a face. It could be just things I like or something that represents me. Oh, this is nice. I could look at maybe a nice mouth. Yeah, <laughs> that would be quite cool for my face collage. So. You've got your basic, trying to create some sort of collage -y portrait. Portrait? Portrait. Kind of. That's quite modern. Modern. Yes. I'm getting there. It's going yeah. for the face. Going for the sort of face. <laughs> so, I've actually picked up, I don't know if you have these at home, green scissors are generally left-handed scissors. But that's good if you're left-handed. Good way of recognising. See? Uh, Julie has said, we think a portrait is a picture of a person or an animal a self-portrait is a picture of yourself that is nice i like that yes and we're taking that definition a little bit more so it's a picture of yourself self-portrait or of someone else it could even be a character maybe what sort of characters can you think of Anyone famous from cartoons or... Elmo? Could be Elmo or Elma even. Elma. Um, we did Elma the other day in one yeah. of our sessions, didn't we? Uh, it could be a portrait. This is pushing it a bit, but it could be a portrait of things that you like. Like chocolate. Um, I quite like this one by Chrissy. She's had to eat, obviously, a lot of chocolate. And there are wine lids there as well. So she did say chocolate and wine is getting her through. So obviously that's not for everybody, but I quite like Chrissy's take on her portrait. So I'm still cutting things out of my magazine that I might use for a portrait. And hi to Karen, Catherine Scott in Chester, um, in Beckingham. Lovely having you, Kate. And Richard with Oscar and Jacob. Hi everyone. Hey. Lovely having you. Hello. Nice to see you. This is my. Messy face. I've tried to do two eyes, a nose, some rosy cheeks, and a little mouth. That's nice. Just nice. sticking it on, you know, doesn't really matter which way goes where. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's one attempt. One attempt. We'll log it. And where can I put this now that I've made it? Oh. How do I, how do I officially become awesome? Well, oh, you already <laughs> are, as you know with your kids. So you can upload it to a website called Our Creative Face. Okay. And then we will email you to say, we've checked it, we've moderated it, that it is a Guinness World Record. And I'm just standing here with Joe Wicks on my side <laughs> while I have this, because I've just found a nice cut out of him. <laughs> so me and Joe say it's okay to upload your picture. Um, and then we'll email you. And once we hit 50,000 images, you then get a certificate from us to say you're officially amazing. So your collage can be quite broad. As I said, I'm going to have Joe on my collage which will be quite nice. I've got a question from Jasmine, who's asked if she makes a tortoise, is that okay? Yes, if, if only if you like tortoises. <laughs> so it can be whatever your imagination takes you. So a portrait of a tortoise is great. So you can find out there's a hat here. I quite like the hat. I'm gonna cut that hat out. Um, and as you can see, you can build up your collage from, it's almost a montage, which is a selection of different items. 
all mixed up and you can stick them on in whatever way you want. Of course, just check before you cut people's magazines up because we know not everybody likes you to cut their magazines up. And hello to Sarah and Erin with Creation Station in Bromsgrove. And hey. hi to Miles who is sitting out in the sun watching. Oh, I'm quite jealous of that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah and who? Sarah and Erin. Oh, Erin. Hi, Erin. So I'm just cutting this lady's hair out, um, which is interesting. And of course, we could have prepared things for you beforehand, but what we like to do is just show you that it's just about having a bit of fun as we go along. Would you like to, I'm now going to delegate the task of somehow collating my montage weird pieces with lovely Joe in the background uh, on a official attempt. I As I said, it can be on any piece of paper. It doesn't just have to be on the template that we've given. So that is another way of doing a portrait. So what other ways are there? Well, you might decide, especially if your children uh, are little. Uh, we're getting a wave here from our cameraman. I yeah. forgot to introduce you again, Ollie. I know. And Ollie's behind the camera. I'm behind the camera. I'll be reading out some comments this time and answering some of your questions as they come up. Thanks, Ollie. It's going to be really good. So Nita wants to know where she can download the frame from. Ah, great question, Nita. If you go to the website, www.ourcreativeface.com and we can put the link in this feed as we're going on. If, um, if any of our Creation Station franchisees are online, if you'd like to just pop that link in for Anita, then you can download it from there. The Creation Station Limited have just put the yeah. um, link in there. Fantastic. So what other ways can you do a collaged portrait? Well, there are many. Here's another idea. So depending on how old you are, you might like to get some trays I don't know if you can see those and sort different colors so because you might decide your favorite colors are red and blue so you might have a tray of red things and blue things and also i'll put joe wicks on my blue on my blue list there although he is going oh that looks really cool um can we have joe in that one um so you could decide and also when you're creating your trays of different colors you don't just have to use one type of material. If I want to use yellow as one of my colours, I can then create a yellow tray. And in terms of finding things to do to fill the time, this is a lovely way of extending activities with uh, kids. Uh, another way, as you, if you're older, is you can look at not just colours, but something called tones. Tone is basically the amount of light or dark in a picture. So you might want to have, um, so you could have a bright yellow, which would be a light tone, but a dark yellow would be a dark tone. And the reason I mention that is because we have one of our fab franchise owners, a brilliant lady called Sharon Fisher, created this picture. Hello, Sharon. I know, you're so famous. Um, so, I don't know if you can see here, Sharon took a black and white photograph and then stuck on long, thin strips of newspaper and in the dark areas, she put a slightly darker tone so you can see for her lips, she used a darker colour and to make the teeth, her teeth, her lovely smile stand out, she put a lighter tone. So, this is just using black and white and you can select your colours based on not just the colour, like we've been doing here, but also the dark or light tones. This means you can get many, many different variations of your portrait. And can you upload more than one? Can you? Yes, you can. <laughs> That's good to know. Yes, you can. Um, every record attempt that you submit will help us get to that a magical number of over 50,000 uh, portrait um, images. So Sam has moved on to another look way, really using that tone. So yeah, I've taken on the tone. I've got a, a black and white image of myself here, if you can see that. And I've started cutting out 
different shades of pink, which is one of my favorite colors, to try and highlight the lighter side and the darker side of my face. Um, I can do the hair as a different color. Um, you know, I'm just kind of keeping it on there. Not really any proper method to it, but it is very satisfying covering my face up. Yeah, that sounds good. I think so, we're done with this one as well. I like that. We had to put Joe in for some reason. Ah, yeah, that looks good. Hello, <laughs> Joe. If you're watching, Joe, nice to see you. Um, yeah, every portrait is going to be very different. So I took a black and white photo of myself, um, and I'm going to start adding... Um, I think I might try newspaper strips. I've cut them into squares, but I want to get slightly different shapes happening in my picture. So I'm going to use just black and white. Or I could hand it to my handy assistant here. And if you want to just start, I've used the left-handed scissors again, <laughs> going right-handed. Uh, if you want to start sort of strip, putting them into little strips. So I cover it all in glue first. And I might just trim the bottom off, just get a nicer, nicer shape. And then using that light and dark tone aspect that we were looking at. Just if we can do that in newspapers, that would be fantastic. That would be great. So that's all happening here. And so another technique we can use um, is to do something called mixed medium. So you can take all of the different ideas that we've had talked about and put them together. So you can do it in the um, template that we've supplied which is, I think we have another one yeah. hiding somewhere. I think we might have used them all. Maybe used them all. Um, so we'll just use a piece of paper, but we're going to have to make sure that we collage right to the edge. Nita has asked um, if there's a closing date to submit. That's a really good question. Well, first I'm going to find a glue spreader. I've Apart from just using my photo, my I've fingers. Using my fingers. <laughs> it's a one in our toolkit. Uh, you think or a piece of cardboard. Not okay. Ah, uh, marvellous. Um, so the question was, good question, what is the closing date for the Guinness World Records? Well, they very kindly said there isn't a deadline. It's when we achieve the 50,000 uh, images uploaded online. So it might take us, you know, it might take us a month, it might take us four months. So we just need to keep uploading those different images. So over the weeks on our Creation Station Lives, we might come up with some other techniques and activities and also continue to promote, obviously, in our lives. But you can do these activities as often and as frequently as, as you want to. So basically, there's no uh, deadline. We were going to run it in our classes, birthday parties, events, festivals, after school clubs, um, but of course, we're not able to do that, which is why we've now brought this online. It also means that um, some of the groups that we're connected with, care homes, um, uh, homeschooling, obviously, um, where key workers are going in, schools looking after key worker families, people have been downloading the activity sheet and running it in those places as well. So you are very welcome to share and have a go and do as many as you can so that we can make you really officially amazing. <laughs> so we talked about a mixture of um, materials called mixed media. So we've just been shredding a few bits and pieces. So a lot of these things that you can do at home aren't gonna cost you, aren't gonna cost you any money. Um, if you don't have glue, there is a really neat technique that my mum taught me when I was little. Hello mum, if you're grand if you're listening. Um, so, it's basically, if you, can, you can make glue. Can you guess how you can make glue? In fact, that is a question for our listeners. Who knows how to make your own glue? Um, well, from stuff made that you can find at home? Stuff you can find at home. Ooh. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I will wait for the answers. A good tip as well um, is if you have, if you gluing a lot of stuff down, is if you get a roller or a rolling pin, you, that will help secure, I've got to glue my nose now, that will help secure your materials onto the paper. 
Thank you, Josh. Oh. So if you haven't got a rolling pin handy, use the size, the side of a felt pen, and that can just roll and make sure it sticks on nice and firmly. So I'm going to use a mixture of these gorgeous um, buttons, these coconut buttons that you might know by now that we love. Um, but before I put the eyes down, I'm going to collage the backgrounds. So think about the sequence, the sequencing of laying things down. So Julie has asked if it's flour and water I use. Ah, uh, Julie. Uh, that might be it. Flour and water. Um, yeah, absolutely. That's what my mum taught me when we when I was little. Um, I have to say, I've not done it ever since, I don't think. But I think if you don't have glue, do have a go at flour and water. Because that's a really nice, low cost. If you've got flour, it's probably easier maybe to get glue these days. And going out and getting flour, who would have thought? Um, and there's a... Some of you may have seen that very famous picture, Mona Lisa. Um, I'd love to know who painted the Mona Lisa. But while we wait for that answer, um, I want some more yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to do a yellow focus background here. Uh, one of the things that was interesting about the Mona Lisa picture when it first came out was the fact that, thank you, Sam, that he painted a background on his portrait and on her portrait. And when you look at the background very carefully, you'll notice that be, if I imagine your Mona Lisa for a moment, don't smile, sort of smile. We never know what the smile <laughs> meant. This, the background isn't, the horizon isn't e even. It's higher on one side than the other, which was unusual to get. Thank you, you can stop being Mona Lisa now. Um, which was really unusual. We want to have a background in a portrait, but also the fact that he didn't get, it wasn't even. He obviously knew how to paint, so I think there was an intentional activity. But it is interesting that when you're doing your collage, you can do things in the background. Um, Alex has asked if you need to glue everything down, or could you just lay everything on top and take a photo of it and upload it? So, officially a collage is glued down. Um, it's a really good question. But as long as it's not... So I can't, I couldn't do these as much as I'd like to. I can't do like these two objects here and a banana <laughs> for a face because that's not a collage. What I could do is I could photograph a banana and print it out and cut that out and make that part of the collage. So as long as the items could be glued down, then that's fine. So they don't have to necessarily actually be, be glued down? Not actually necessarily be glued down. <laughs> Just look like they glued. Look like they're glued down. But, but the, as long as it looks like a Guinness World Record, because they are watching and they are checking, and rightfully so, because Guin if, official Guinness World Records have a lot of moderation to make sure that everything is compliant. So it is a good, good shout. So we could, you can't do like a 3D sculpture because um, that would be a different type of record. So I would love to know if you are having a go at home and if so, how you are getting on. So I'm going to move from, my background's going to be, interesting. I'm thinking at the moment, I'm thinking more about my tones. I'm thinking this side is a bit darker. I'm going to make that lighter. My yellow is... Part of the background but i'm going to move it to orange so i'm thinking more about my background at the moment and the different types of ways i can create that and of course you don't just have to use papers you might find you've got um old fabrics um what other things could you put on your collage and there's a thought love to know what mm. thoughts you've got toilet paper is probably a bit too expensive at the moment toilet paper is a rare <laughs> commodity Although we will be doing something with toilet rolls on Monday. Ooh. Yes, but you can still reuse the toilet roll afterwards. So, one to, one to ponder on at the weekend. So, whilst you are thinking about your collage, or even if you're making your collage now, did anyone know who painted Leonardo? No? Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> anyone know who painted Mona Lisa? <coughs> uh, 
So one, did we get any answers? Not with that one, but Nicole Norman said we could put wool on it, and Kirsty Hickson oh, said leaves and flowers. Yeah. Very um, UK friendly. Very nice. Very nice. It's a nice texture as well from them. As really well. nice. So I think this activity is. I think it's an activity that keeps on giving. There are lots of different ways that you could create your portrait, your portrait of a pet, your favourite food, animal, self-portrait, somebody that you admire. Uh, we did start to show you some of the ones that are here. Uh, I love this, this one in particular. So oh, this lady has used the same types of uh, material but, and repeated, repeated it to create a really nice texture. So I quite like that one a lot. And there's some more here. Oh, look. That's Ollie Loves Josh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Basically, he just took mine and wanted to write his name on it. Yeah. <laughs> so here, uh, Josh had layered his buttons. So they're still quite collage. He's still quite flat. But he's put buttons on top of each other. Reshma, who is one of our amazing franchise owners, uh, has taken tissue papers, scrunched it up, and made it very colourful. And this, I love this one, using up pl any plastic straws, because of course we don't like plastic straws, but using it in a collage means that it's getting further life. And this was one that I made earlier, <laughs> just really sticking things down. And if you go onto our creative face and go to gallery, there's loads of other ideas to inspire you. Julie Sc Scoble, Karen Lane, and Karen McGillivray have all said that Leonardo da Vinci painted Mona Lisa. Oh, nice. ladies, you're oh, in the right jobs. I think you run creative sessions yourself, don't you? With Creation Station. Um, yes, you're right. And in fact, a fact that not, not many people know is our business website management system is called Da Vinci after the famous an amazing man himself. So I'm now just quickly finishing off my stunning self-portrait on a good day. I haven't quite done my mouth yet, but I'm working on that. Um, so what do you do next? So as Sam mentioned, as we talked about earlier, you take a photograph, you upload it to ourcreativeface.com. Once you've uploaded it, we would like you to share on social media with the hashtag ourcreativeface and tag three friends to get creative to. Because the more people who get involved in the record, the more people can be officially amazing. And also, it's a great creative challenge to bring to friends and families um, as well. And so one of the things we've been thinking about at Creation Station is what can we do with, these, the, with a whole range of awesome artworks? Well, you may have seen, I'm not necessarily putting mine up in the awesome artwork gallery, but, you know, we do what we can. Um, one of the things you may have seen recently is that uh, all the hospitals are asking for artwork. So what we're saying to hospitals, if, if they want to go on to our Creative Face gallery, they can download those pictures. And if, we, if anybody would like us to print them, we can print those pictures in A3 in full colour and send them to those local hospitals. So we will try and make sure that your photo, your, your images, will also get out to local hospitals. Also, what can you do with your actual physical artwork? You might want to contact a local care home. Thank you very much, Sarah Burnett, for that idea. Brilliant idea. And see if they want some fresh artwork to brighten up people's lives. So I think this is time done. I think yeah. we might just have to... Oh, Sam, do you want to lift yours up? Yeah, sure. I like that. There you go, you can kind of see it. I've got, I've got my lips and my eyes, I've, I've lost my ears, um, and I've got blue hair. Yay. Yeah, that's all part of the fun. That's nice. Well done, Sam. Thanks. And I like the fact... I got a bit bored. Thank you. Yeah. All good fun, though. Thank you very much. Very nice. I will be uploading these soon. So, just to recap, upload your image to ourcreativeface.com, share it on social, tag three friends with hashtag ourcreativeface, and let's help the nation get inspired. Thank you for watching. Apparently it's Friday. It is the weekend. Yeah. That might not make any difference to you. It does mean that we're not here until Monday. So it will give us a bit of time to catch up, clear up and get ready with fresh ideas. We will be uploading next week's activities 
on the Creation Station menu. So do follow and we will be sharing that link. Have an amazing weekend. Thank you, my boys. You've been legends. Thank you, my franchi all our franchisees for looking after us and being creative. Take care.